Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to play Game Boy games on your PC. It's really easy to do and kind of fun. I thought it'd be unique to do a little change, so whatever. So the first step is to open up your web browser, and in your search engine, type up Visual Boy Advance. This is our game emulator, and it basically just plays the game files for you. There's tons of emulators out there, but I like to use this one. So yeah, once you get to this page, uh, go to this Downloads menu and locate the one that says Windows Download and then uh, just locate the place you want to download it. I'll just do my downloads folder. I already have those so I'm not going to walk through this step but basically just hit save, wait for it to download and then you can locate the file or the folder I should say. Here it is in my downloads folder. It should be something like Visual Boy Advance 1.7.2. Now if we go into this folder we got all these files. There's eight of them and there's this one interesting one here that has the purple Game Boy icon and this is the emu oh sorry this is the emulator itself if we double click on it and hit run the this is the emulator itself and this is how we play the games right now we do not have any games in this folder and once we get the game files in here we can actually start playing so i'm just going to exit this and exit this folder let's go back to firefox and locate a website that will uh host the ROM files. And the ROM files are just the games and uh, like there's two things. There's the game files and then there's the emulator. The emulator just runs the game files basically. So uh, there's tons of websites out there that host these ROMs. I'm just going to show you this one called Dope ROMs. Uh, all the links will be in the info on the right by the way. This is where I get all my ROM files. I'll just say game files from now on. But So yeah, once you get to this page you can go up to the search bar and locate the game you're looking for. Don't laugh at me. Do not laugh. I swear to God, if you laugh at me, I will come over to your house and slap you. Shut up. I know Pokemon's kind of gay, but I like it. So, once you get to the game you're looking for, uh, you can hit download ROM. And there is an occasional problem. This doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does happen. So watch. When I hit download Pokemon Emerald GBA.zip, this pops up. It says 403 Forbidden and you can't download the file. Now there's an easy way to get around this. Um, so if that happens to you, all you gotta do is right click on the link, hit save link as, and then uh, there you go, you can start downloading it now. So I'm just gonna save it to my downloads folder for now. Hit save, and wait. My internet's kinda slow today. Don't ask why, because I don't know the answer. All right. Okay. So once it's done, double click on it. And right now I'm just going to hit extract all files up here. And now we can extract them to our Visual Boy Advance folder, this one right here. Hit okay, hit extract. And now we uh get back to this folder. And now we can double click on Visual Boy Advance. Uh, let me uncheck that. Hit run. And now we go to file, open. And now you should find a file something like this, Pokemon Emerald Pound GBA dot GBA. The GBA extension stands for Game Boy Advance. Uh, it might be GBA or GB or GBC. And those just stand for the Game Boy uh, Engine, but don't worry, it'll all work the same. So just double click on Pokemon Emerald or whatever game you got. And there you go, it starts uh, playing. Or right, There we go. One sec, let me turn down the volume because it's really annoying right now. So you can now start playing your Game Boy games and uh, the controls are Z is A, X is B, the arrow keys are just the arrow keys, enter is start, and backspace is select. And now you can start playing uh, Pokemon or whatever game you want. Okay, so that's basically it. I know this is kind of a change but I'm not going to always do tutorials like this. I'll go back to Sony Vegas in a bit but I just wanted to show you something new. Something unique and interesting. So that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll try and get to you as soon as I can. All the links will be in the info on the right. Just click on them and it will take you to the page. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.